What's up guys? This is Pretty Done. I'm here, Sneaker Con, Urban Necessities, hanging out. About to light that booth up when they put it together. Just wanna say peace, love, from Vegas to Dallas, we're here. Jungle. Right. That was tough. That, that was, was so, crazy. That was a lot Holding of, up that thing so is harder than you think. It takes yeah. athleticism, it's balance, all the muscles I'm And, and we don't want to hear the jokes about us being big and oh my god, we look like the ball. I look like the ball. Come on, I've we got it. it. We've heard the jokes already. I've heard it. Uh currently my wife and I own a shop called Urban Necessities. We've been around for about six and a half years now. Uh the last three years we've resided inside Fashion Show Mall, which is across the street from the wind in Las Vegas. But Next week on the 28th, we relocate and open doors inside Caesar's Palace, a store that's four and a half times the size. I'm watching a preview before we launched the Everlast video with my brother in June, the barber, who by the way is gonna be providing free haircuts at our grand opening next week at Urban Necessities. But right now I'm untying a lasso because Ern got me a rope or got me a lasso, but didn't give me a knife to cut the thing off. So I'm literally untwining five feet of lasso or rope because my back isn't what it once used to be. And I can't carry tables anymore. And since we're in Texas, I'm probably just gonna lasso me a few tables. <laughs> that was close. I'm gonna need it for Joni because she always says I never buy her nothing, but every time I go out the house, I'm buying for her before I buy for me. But Please. Joni, this is the part of the video where I tell you I appreciate you and I thank you. And if it wasn't for Souls for Less, you wouldn't have this pair right here. This one's for you, okay? Day one, sneaker con, first sneaker con of the year, first sneaker con in over a year. And what better place to kick this off than in Dallas? Man, it is good to be back. And I can't stress to y'all how ready I am for today. 
Just going through some prices right here. Can try to get the early morning buyout before it even opens. Again, like I wanna. Good. Good. Um, I wanna fucking go to tables like this where shit is already priced out and they're trying to make it easy for you. Hey, how are you? I saw your so we wanna fill up that trolley. Hey, okay. <laughs> That's good. Where are you guys from? New Orleans. Nice. So if I buy a few of them, will you work with me a little bit? Uh, I mean, if the offer is good, then yeah, I'll definitely work with you. All right, so. Close to the slides and then the Belvin. Yeah. Mm, let me see. I'll I'm let you think about it, do yeah. a little bit of research. I'm going to walk around right. and then just let me know. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll let All you know. Right. Thank you. Regardless, you guys have an amazing show, make tons of money, and, and learn a lot. Have a blessed day. What's really dope to see is how many new vendors. Like I'm seeing, I'm seeing guys for the first time I've never seen, and I'm seeing a lot of young, like a little bit younger crowd than some of the old, like some of the previous shows, and that that's really good, because um, that means more people are getting into it and trying to start their own businesses, it's, it's dope to see. Why not the boys and then the shoes? Are you just recent, like this is all you, or are you like also selling for other people? Where are you from? Yeah, San Antonio. San Antonio, go. How long you been reselling? For real? Oh shit, okay. So yeah, now I gotta break bread with you now. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but, yeah, you know, that's yeah. amazing, bro. Yeah. Were these all like retail cops for you? Uh, some of them. You know what I mean? Some of them. Some of them. How many? Like where you're at in in San Antonio? What is it like? A lot of boutiques or just like regular stores? Or you know, like, we have something, you know what I'm saying? But we don't have like. So you're something. just going to like shoe palaces, foot lockers, champs. Yeah. Probably yeah. Wifey. Yeah, right? and you know Facebook groups. Facebook, so, so what? Black crew. Yeah, yeah. How many people are in that group? Know? A lot. Yeah, but they all legit, all official. You know what I mean? So, you know. Yeah, they've been selling. You been in it for a while? Uh. Not really, but some, I mean, eight years. I've been reselling like eight years, if that, you know, just uh, still learning. We and all. just still trying to just figure out creative ways to stay relevant, man. So, so give me a dollar amount. Give me a dollar amount of what he has it at. For one, two, three, four, five, right? And he's two. Alright, six, seven. Alright, so this one I'll for sure take. Would you do seven hundred? You're at seven twenty. Cool, that works. You're at twelve twelve hundred, would you do eleven fifty? Alright, somebody write that down. Yep, okay, I got we'll you. take that. You're at four hundred three seventy-five? Four hundred three seventy-five? 500. Now I'm fair. I don't like beating nobody up. Especially when you tell me you just started selling. 400. 230. And let's do that one. That one's a little high. So let's do 260. You're like about $50 over on that one. Yeah. This is where we're at right now. That covered the trip. This covers the trip. Come on, let's go. Oh, I need this one too. Before it's open. I need this one too. I'm gonna just pay that. I'm not even gonna beat you up on that one. Is that, the, is that a men's size or a grade school size? It's a men's seven? Oh, that's different. It is different. Yeah. 280, let's go. We'll just do four four thousand to yeah. make it easy. Roy, Roy ATL, it's my Instagram. Appreciate it, appreciate it.
That's what you gotta do. You gotta take that money and go buy more shoes because you're gonna be here for two days, right? You're gonna run out of shoes really, really fast. Hey, look how fast you come to the And get that right away, too. Yeah. No, oh, thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. Keep at it, positive energy, and you find this creative place to make a dollar out here, bubba. Where you from? I'm from Jersey, but I'm out in Vegas. I own a shop called Urban Necessities. Oh, shit. Bro, I bought these from you. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Hell Yo, yeah. you hear what he said? Let me tell you where I go from. Let me see. Nah, stop. Yeah. Damn, that was fucking. Damn, in 2018. I bought these from you, man. We were still in the boulevard back then, bro. We, we were in the hood mall. We was in the mall. Yeah, we was yeah. in the hood mall. Where you at now? I'm moving to farm shop. For real? Yeah. I, we, I go to Vegas like three times a year. So up, I always stop there. I'm, I'm gonna be at uh, I'm gonna be in farm shop now. We added like tattoo artists, barbers, oh, guys. Yeah, yeah. Please yeah. give me a picture of that. Yeah, that's I did. I, well, oh, that's amazing, <laughs> bro. Thank you. You legit made my day already. And we just started. The fours. Size. We got eight and a half. How do you three eighty? Three eighty. Check check the seatbelt. Three sixty for three uh, eight and a half. Yeah. Well, Dad, y'all competing with yourselves? Okay? Nah, Come he's on. different size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His is Come on. his is a bigger size. I got a bigger size. He's got a bigger size. That's all. I'd have to be closer to like three thirty, bro. I work with you. All right, come on, I'll take it. Oh, I mean, I know they're both gonna go up, but this. Run it. Run what, it. what can you do? What can you do for size nine? I mean, I'd probably be at the same. Could be thirty. Could you do forty? I'm not gonna fight you all the time. I got. Yeah, I got the same. Would you do three thirty like I'm paying now? I could do. I could do that in the half by half. All right, give me your in half. Two, two or three thirty, or one or three forty. How to go get one? They're right there at the booth. Look, you see we do right now. We have so much stuff, bro. We came from Florida, so we had to take drive. And we didn't know it's, our first, it's my first time here. We didn't know how the tables were. No, so yeah, we you guys, you guys did it the right way. You got here early. You post it up against the wall. You can hide your product. People won't fuck with your shit. Just make sure you got all lefts out, not rights. Yeah, 100%. put the put the prices out. Do it exactly how you did. Listen a little bit above the the abs. Cause you already know people like me are gonna come over to you and say, "Yo, let me pay listed price," and 100%. and you get what you want, and and I get what I want, and, and it's a massive. They keep it moving, bro. Take the money. My my suggestion though would be take the money and go buy all the shit and put it on the table. I came I came with a plan, and the plan is to take all USC fours if I can. I got a GS. Come on, well, how much? Like two forty. Five and a half for two forty. Would you do two twenty? Look. I came down on the eight and a half. Work with me on this one. All right, come on. Since you want to yank my teeth out and shit, <laughs> yeah, let me get my wisdom tooth back. Give him the two. Give him the two forty. Give him the two forty. You got us on sixty back. I always, I always get excited when I see that new, uh, first time guy, right? Because I understand what it's like to come to these shows and not really have an understanding or the support from friends or family. And I know what the interaction could cause, the motivation or the hustle that it'll inspire. What's up, bro? How are you? So that's really why I try to break bread with those people. And I'm trying to do this a little bit different than most times, right? Because at the end of the day, some of these guys see me at every fucking show, but I, I'm looking for those people that we haven't broken bread with in the past before. <laughs> Turn around, 11 and a half, you said, how much? 12, 7 collective. You 12? Yeah. It's a couple British khakis, you know, just came out. You gotta get the early hype releases. If you want it, 620, 67. What's up, guys? How are you? Texas. from? He's actually coming tomorrow. From Bronson? Would you? Uh, he is hard. Man. I told you. That's right. He real hard. I told you. Yo, would you do? I mean, there. I know you got them. What are you selling these at? These, these are, yeah, those are both branding. Uh, these I have at 440. Those are 460. Just because I have a size seven, and that one. 440. What's up? 440. And uh, what size? 11. 11. Would you do four? 
The foam runner, gotta keep them going. It's like the uh, fashionable croc now. Times four plus four sixty plus four hundred. Seventeen forty, sir. Seventeen forty. Appreciate you, Jason. Nah, appreciate you, bro. Uh, pay my man. I'm mean, just trying to buy tables, so I'm just gonna start putting stuff on tables. That might be it. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know what's in there, I think. Yeah. Man, you meet me in the middle of 240? That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, this is the turn around. Here, slide me over what you got over there. Yeah, I just put it right here to the side. I see you. Yeah, I'm like, I'm over here looking. I'm like, yo, wait a minute. I, I yeah, remember. How's it been going? Oh, it's been good, man. We've been hustling. Right. So last time I saw family was in Fort Lauderdale, right? Yeah, man. And I picked Fort up the Lauderdale. whole table and we left with his table. Yes, sir. And I appreciate you for that. How's Boy. it been going since? Good, bro. Good. Bro, from that video, I get followers like every other day. I swear to God. And that video is like what? Year two? Yeah, it's yeah. like two years old. I appreciate you, bro. Always, nah, I appreciate girl. you. Yes, sir. I was over here. Like, I'm over here doing this thing. I'm like, wait a minute, nah. man. Nah, nah, nah. I fucking know them, man. I've seen them before. Y'all drove yeah, up? Yeah, man. How yeah, long was the drive? Uh, like 16 hours, man. Yeah. yeah. We're here, though, man. We're glad to be back, for sure. Yeah. We're very glad to be back. Yeah. 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 On the left, I believe that one's nine feet. Yeah. The other one is one point two. Yeah. That's a twelve hundred dollar t-shirt. We're from Daytona Beach, Florida. Yeah. So we specialize in vintage gear, anything eighties, nineties. We got the nineteen eighty five Jordan pieces up there. Yeah, anything uh really eighties, nineties, anything that's nostalgic. You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. Right here. Look, good old Jays. Yes, Please sir. make sure to follow my man, bro. He's such a good dude. Always takes care of me. Always shows me love on pricing. I don't got, I don't got to Keep it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I got fucking wax in this row, huh? I was my bag's very light, man. You've been eating good. You've been eating good. You didn't gain a couple pounds. Like, like a quarter century since the last time I saw you. I'm it. coming out here Monday. You I'm coming? To see you. No shit. Yeah. How you guys been? Good, you. Yeah. I know you've been busy. You gotta slow him down eating. He's getting a little too big, bro. <laughs> How's it been going? You guys been mm. finding ways to make money? Mm. Amazing. It's amazing. Man. Yeah, you're winning right now. I got offered 20 and I turned it down. People were like, why would you turn it down? And then and then Drew, that happened with Drew. And I'm like, that's why. That's why. Exactly. Yeah. Nah, Plus, Drew. I won't be able to find another pair, bro. Everyone bought them all up. Okay, yeah. uh, what's up, Dougie? How are you? I know somebody with like... I saw also... You're 12, right? 12 to 13. Yes. I got so much shit, but it's Dude, I, know. I, I got the uh, Terror Squads off you. Yeah, the, the I got horses. the Kobe's from Big A from you. Yeah. I got a... Uh, you got to come to the opening, bro. When is, I seen it, the bro. 28, when is it? The 28th. I got, like, 28th I got my guys from Skin June? Design there. Yeah, no, oh. this month. Next week. Friday. Oh, I'm happy. Friday, bro. I might have to make that flight. <laughs> Let's go, Aaron. Can't miss the gym. The gym is where you make it. No pain, no gain. 99 flat. If we're gonna round up, let's just round up to the right number. Sounds good to me. Yeah. We gotta break no chains. Keep it straight. That's good money, bro. You get married. You go chill. Drive back. You 25. Wait, he's the one that asked you to pay for his wedding day? Yeah. No, we're, I'm paying for weddings. That's what we do. When you do 10, I'm good. I'll give you the whole table. You can pull out the table with the weather from now. Nah, bro, I almost broke my hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> I almost broke I'm my hand. Because I broke it down a little bit more. All right, fuck it. Come on. I'm not going to fight you. Let's go. Pull 10,000. Give me a stack. 
Yo, any blessings, bro. Thank you for so real. Much. Appreciate When's it, the wedding? When's the June 27. Am I invited? Yes, you are, sir. Does this cover my flight? Yes, it does. Wedding? Yes, it does. <laughs> <So> <laughs> thank you so much. Let's go get some shoes. Two days already bought me out. That's wifey? That's wifey. Yo, congrats on the wedding. When my man told me y'all were getting married and that he needed to sell these shoes to pay for the wedding, I said, fuck it, come on, let's go. Let's pay for a wedding. Thank you, man. I appreciate it for two J's coming in. I actually traveled 25 hours to come out here. And I knew my man was going to bless you. And I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Yo, the fact that you spoke that shit into existence bro, appreciate and that you had the heart to I mean, say, fuck it, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. Look, you take the whole table and make me happy, bro. bro. That's it, bro. Thank you so All much. Right, let's bro. box it up. Yeah, bro. Whoa! Do I get a discount now? Microsoft went down five points. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Now it's time to get married, man. June 27th, bro. Impact so let's get married, though, man. You still gonna hang out for sneaker con? I'm gonna hang out the whole weekend, you know, and get the vibe, you know, maybe still buy a couple of pants just to put on the side, but everything else is good, though, bro. Appreciate it. Where the snacks at? You want to go get some? Nah, you're supposed to be hustling right now. You're being lazy, bro. Why I'm are you? Working. What are you working on? I don't see you doing anything. He's the one pushing this For stuff. Real, money? Why are you being lazy, bro? What I happened mean, here? You oh. popped off, right? And somebody was like, Sss. "That's what happened, right?" No, 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 no. Is that what happened? <laughs> no. What happened? You you came you came in correct with the prices, right? And somebody was like, Sss. "No, Sss. huh?" What is snack side, B? I'll have it. I'm good. Well, you you probably buy you probably buy one. Oh, uh, you know I'm cheap. I don't buy nothing. You got to, for me to buy one, you got to give me three free. But, but then how you get dogs then? The dogs came. They come to me. I'm the dog whisperer. Okay. Give me some snacks, bro. What snacks? Come on, just bring me the options. Show me the options. Go, make some money. Come on, what are you doing? What are I got to do everything for you. I'm buying shoes. What you mean, what am I doing? <laughs> are you serious? All right, so here's a quick update. 88 pairs, 24,000. In an hour. At that rate, I'm gonna be the brokest person you've ever met in your life <laughs> by three o'clock. So this is what I appreciate about Souls. Souls is so covert ops, right? That he don't like showing his face. So my man, what's up? What's good, family? How you? Uh, my man is always wearing the luchador mask. We're going right here, boss. Right behind you, Senor Souls. I owe you some money, yeah? Yes, sir. Um, but what did you tell me to come over here because you had some things that you had to sell? I got some shadows. You got some shadows. I got a shitload of GS sizes. I got some, this one, I got one Hawaii, got Sting Waters. That's a pair of, then I have this one. I just bought seven pairs of P rods for 4,900 bucks. And basically I'm raffling off four pairs between tomorrow and today. And then I got Joni a pair. I got myself a pair, and, you know, 2J's doing 2J shit, right? The only guy, yo, the only person I trust with Ernie's. Senor Souls for less. So I would like to buy uh, all your UNCs, okay. like all of them, all your black whites, all your cobalts, all your top fours, all your shadows, and all your mochas. Give me a number. Okay. How many? Uh, so, I told them we were buying these about 320, 330. They said that's kind of cool to come down on. Um, the green lobster was pretty good price. Uh, the purple they can come down on. It's pretty much asking, but I don't want to. I don't want to buy. Uh, you want to stick to kind of GR kind of things? Okay, I'll just talk about it now. Though, so it always sticks up. Yeah, yeah, go. Cool. Yeah. So 
How you guys been? Good, right. good brother. All right, you've been. Don't 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 even say anything but great. Please don't say nothing but great. Because yeah, there you go. Not, there's not a single thing I can complain about in life. You're the man, bro. You're my role model, dude. When you opening your store? Hey, when you help me open my store. When you give me the blueprint, I'm out. I'm out. We don't need my help. Man, hey, why would you, the best help you can get is from somebody who's already successful? We've we've bought and sold and traded and like exchanged a large amount of money over the years. And uh, this guy, like, if there's a sneaker con, he's at the sneaker con. How long you been coming to sneaker con? 2010. And the whole family. It's a whole like the whole family every single time, bro. I like, I love that, bro. It's amazing to see what you've done over the years and how you kept like evolving. You can stretch now. Whatever, man. Get off of me, man. Get off of me. You've been coming to the shows forever. Like, um, I know, bro. How much you need? How, how much you need to make it this show? How much do I desire to need? No, how much, how much would you like? How much would you like to make it this show? Seventy-five. Seventy-five thousand. That that'll top my seventy-seven that you gave me last time. Yeah. yeah, the last time I was here, I spent. He did sixty, yeah. and that could look good. Yeah. So. Yeah, another sixty would be nice, you know. Just you know. How much do is what in you the back? Uh, About that. Little. JC, what, what is it, man? It don't get no better, man. DS tuxedos, true blues, semen. So you want sixty thousand for the whole table? Oh no, it, this table is with the prices. It didn't. It didn't. Hey. <laughs> How much is the whole table? No, no, sir. No, sir. The whole table is probably around ninety, man. With what I got. You take Apple Pay? Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Hey, wait, wait. Let me get the phone. Hey, we'll go buy. Oh, my daughter got it. No, nah, you good. You Look, got I'm 90. Skinny. You got 90 <laughs> I got, in the sock. You know what you're doing, right? I promise. I got about 90 lint balls on this one side. Um, yo, let's, I, I can't break the record, but I can. <coughs> let's do some math. Let me spend 50 with you. 50? That's what's up. I got you, man. You need it right now, JC? Or how 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 long you got? Two three minutes. Two three no, minutes. No, I'll kidding, break out something, bro. We'll break this whole bad boy down. Don't play with me. We'll break it down right now. Right, let's see what that gets us to, okay? Hey, stop buying up all the shoes, bro. Nah, man. Leave hey, them alone, bro. Listen, look hey. here. I can't help you. You woke up late. Are What's you good? ready? Good. Wait, I was. I've been here, bro. I haven't seen you at all. Where you been? I've been buying. How much you mine, mine is mine is as uh, much as yours. Uh, a lot. Like probably like 50 k. Yeah, I'm about to say. But I'm about to. I told him I'm gonna spend 50 with him right now. Can I, can I steal a couple here and here? Let me yeah, after after my over. after my 50. Anything you can find. Steal. Alright, bro. So, all right, here's what's gonna happen. I pulled a bunch no of shoes out, no phones. I pulled a bunch of shoes out that I would like to buy, and I told him what I would. I am willing to spend, and he's gonna get me to forty nine ninety nine ninety nine, right? <laughs> Post tax, <laughs> shipping. Right. How much I bought already? Huh? Where? Right there, that whole booth. That's me. Oh, okay. This is your fucking booth. Yeah. So we start. I got a guy. Came in and he's been like drawing. Like he, he did the whole so I was like, 
He's going to finish it today, and then I got a tattoo on his hand. Yeah, yeah, because that's when my YouTube started. Like, started popping, and then I didn't do like know. Croatian style right here. No, I can do Project no. Blitz. Yeah, nah. <laughs> and then go like this the whole time. Hey, but I got something better for you. You want a baby doll on your ass? Yeah, in my so it's uh, 11 minutes before the show opens and I've already spent $100,000. Um, I kind of got carried away. Clear out, please. What's up guys, SneakerCon 2021 here at uh, Urban Necessities booth. Give a shout out to the boys. What's up man? Yeah. man we we'll put this thing together, you know? Big facts, look at it, man, it's successful, man. Yo, look at Aaron in the back and everything. Yeah. Got the whole crew. Uh, it's, 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 everything's so saturated. Right. To get yourself out of that bubble, what do you feel like you do? I do everything everybody else does. Uh, uh, I agree 110% with no that. No excuses. Hey, I, I feel like there's no cap. First sneaker cars. Yep, a lot of people, a lot of shoes, a lot of merch, a couple dunks. We are selling out of sizes quickly. Jay hasn't stopped taking pictures. This has been absolutely insane. Sneaker con. This is like sneaker con has never left. We got tattoos going on in here. This whole thing's crazy. Um, literally nonstop, nonstop. And we have this beautiful new booth. It's good news all around. Oh, it is a 42? Oh, so it does fit. Can I take this out? No, absolutely, 1,000%. You want to snug it up tight and see what happens? Yeah, throw it on and, and then see if it fits. I mean, I'm sure it's right. It's product. Yeah, I'll put it on for you. I got you. Okay. Oh, he, he already all over it. Go, no, man. And this, by the way, is called great customer service. reviewing you know one of the earlier buyouts spent a little some lunch money so you know coming over here making sure we're eating good You haven't stopped. I can't, how can I? Now do you see why I work the way that I work? This has built me to do, like work the way that I work at the store. I can't, I can't. I'm not complaining. I'm thankful, I'm very thankful. And I, I fucking love this shit. You can tell I do. But we don't, we don't eat, we don't go to the bathroom, we don't do nothing. First sneaker con. Uh, it's, it's fun. A lot of things to do. Between selling shirts, doing consignment, it's fun though. Right. A little hot. It's a little hot. Right. How much are these hitting for right now? Right. Where are you guys from? What's that? Yeah, I'm from Indiana. How long have you been reselling shoes? Just started? <laughs> this is my first show I'm trying to sell. <laughs> Because it's a B grade, which means that it came from an outlet. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but when they stamp this and they put this, that means there's some sort of factory flaw. So when I go to sell it, I can't really sell it for more than what it goes for, right? Especially when it has a flaw. So I mean, selling it at 280, I'm going to be asking man. for the same 300 you're asking me for. Okay. Oh, give it 280. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. Take a look. Look at that. Look. Now you're gonna, now what you going to cop? 
Now what you gonna get? I don't know. Thank you, Jay. A couple years ago, I was trying to lasso some shit in Dallas. And this year, I lasso some shit in Dallas. And I pulled a whole bunch of shoes. But this vintage vibe right here. Speaking of Dallas, what's going on? It's my boy, Jay. Yo, so Drake, this time, the next 30 minutes, I'm gonna get on stage. We're gonna give away two pairs of P-Rods. We're doing a five round five dollar raffle over at the Urban Assassin's Booth. Pull up. Throw it into the crowd. Let's be cool. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You pick the size, and if you want to sell them, I might be able to help you get a couple bucks for it. Just want to take a moment to say shout out to the house like we're going to have and give it out free drinks and a bunch of free stuff. I'm not here! 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 Option A, keep one of the seven sizes I have. Or option B, we turn it into an option. Right here on stage, we're we'll trying to get you a little bit of cheese. Oh, oh. oh. All right, so can somebody from the Urban Necessities booth bring me the round of tickets and keys? Let's give away some more free stuff. All right, so check this out. I need you to do me a favor, stand in the middle right here. I need you to put your hand in here. You're going to shake around as much as you can. Grab your tickets, guys. It's a moment of truth. This is one? Yeah. You're positive? Yeah. This is the one. All right. Show your hands. <laughs> Who's taking stars with his seats? Yeah. So everybody's taking their stars with his seats. Keep your hands up. Yeah. All right. One. We still got a chance. Two. It seems like everybody's still got a chance. We're still living. Five. Ah. Zero. Ah. 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 I wait. I wait. I wait. I wait. I wait. I wait. <laughs> so we got a winner. So what size would you like? Ten, preferably. You Do got we a have ten? a ten? I got a ten and a half. That's a All right. So before we have a ten and a half, yeah, stay right here. Okay. okay. You want to keep them or you want to sell them? Nah, I'm keeping them. I'm keeping them. How much are they in for? Real quick. Can somebody pull up with a ten and a half to stand for us? Shout out Urban Necessities, Sneaker okay. Con, 2021, $1. Dallas, doing it big. Uh, Just hit on the P-Rod. you pay hundred dollars or more, would you take it? No, sir. If, what about like 900? Mm -hmm. A thousand? Nope. Man, he must be I'm true to this, I'm true to this. I want to wear my stuff. He's going to keep them. Let's give away some more free stuff and then we'll give away the shoes. Woo! I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Redhead. Oh, 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 he's right here. Oh, yeah, you're feeling? You're feeling something on that. Yeah, come on, bro. Oh! So let's bring it out. Yeah, we got that. Do you want to keep them or sell them? Keep them, keep them. What's the other thing? Nah, I'm sure. What's the other thing? Hey, man, y'all. Y'all supposed to sell it, bro. Take the money before the shoes are $2. I want to reach out to someone. Yeah. 
So guys, I just want to say thank you for having this movie kind of concert and the rest of the sponsors that made this happen. Thank you for being so patient with us, for coming back. Thank you for showing us so well? support, man. We missed you, and we're happy to be here. We can't wait to do this all over again at all. You guys have a blessed night. So day two. Wow, we're, we made it to day two. Day one was uh, unique. Day one had some of the staff here till about 11, 12 o'clock at night. Day one had me spending over $110,000. Day one was, uh, we filled up five Gaylords already. Gaylords are those big giant boxes you've been seeing staff um, jumping in my store over the last couple of days on, on the internet. Uh, day two is gonna be a little bit different. Day two, we're gonna push a lot of consignment. Day two, we're gonna give away two more pairs of uh, P-Rods and uh, hopefully day two doesn't have me passing out at my booth because yesterday was a lot, but it was fun. I'm happy to be here. Um, I'm just happy to be here. I might have to hire this guy because my man is literally buying my shirts at 30 and flipping them at 60. <laughs> like his profit margin is better than mine on the shirt. Thank you, Souls. And while we're trying to bring back a few hundred more pairs, you know, first day only 300, not enough. So we're here for a few more hundred. We're off to a good start here, over there. We're looking to get some more. We're gonna need them. So you decided to consign with us today. About how many shoes? Probably close to 200. 200. So how long have you been uh, reselling? Like three years now, almost four. And how'd you get into it? Uh, Kicklahoma, back home. Shout out to Juan. Okay. And then how, like, so what do you, how do you get all these shit? Like, what's your game? Like, how do you? Instagram, I just post buying dead stock pairs and I'll have people slide up and I'll go meet them and go pick up pairs. Right. Right. And then, and, all right, yeah, I guess that's about it. And then, uh, so what's the plan with it? You're gonna consign this? You buy make some money. You buying any more shoes while you're here? Um, I'm planning on buying a few to them before I go home. Nice. What's up, guys? Shout out Wichita, Kansas. Nice. What's the vibe like here in the pit? What's the plan today? Man, we're going to have a good time, and we're going to just meet a whole lot of people. That's nice. it. Nice. Trying to cash out. We're trying to buy everything that we could possibly get and trying to sell right. some stuff also. Okay, you know? but you're buying a lot, too. Yeah, we do. Like, here, we got two people going around buying stuff, too. Yeah. And then where do you sell? You're going to sell here? Or you no, sell I have a store down in New York. Oh, where in New York? Uh, New New Jersey, so Newark, New Jersey. Newark, That's, New Jersey. Yeah, but we based uh, from New York. Nice. What's yeah. the you, what's the store? It's called Missile NYC. Okay. Yeah, we recently Dope. opened up. Nice. Yeah. All right. That's what's up, guys. Get the whole fam out. <laughs> Fill me in. What's going on in the pit? What What's the plan, my man? Trying to sell some sneakers. Yeah. How long have you been reselling? Uh, not very long. No? no. All right. Is this your first sneaker con? Yes, sir. Dope. Were you here yesterday? No, first day. Oh, first day. We're gonna have to come check back in with you then. Okay. What do you got? You got... Uh, strange Gloves, Julie's, Reverse Blues, Squidward, and some Air Foam Now, And how'd you get these? You you bought these... Uh, like you flipped shoes with your friends or...? I bought them from Drops and stuff. Okay, nice. Well, good luck. We're gonna... Ch we'll Thanks. check back in with you, man. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. Nice! I come from Cali though. I live in Cali right now. How long have you been reselling? Uh, like five years probably. Okay. I'm with so, my homies, they're uh, over there too. Oh, okay. They run this with me, so it's not all me. All right, no, that's all right. Appreciate it. What it do, what it is, everybody. It's your boy A-Tiz, full-time hustle, out of the box, Denver, Colorado. Check it out, baby. Let's go. Nice, how long have you been reselling? Years. Nice. You buying and selling today or? Trading on it. Trading, nice. That's what's up. What's up, man? You got a lot of vintage. Yeah, yeah, that's my thing. I'm sneakers for cheaper vintage on IG. And like, this is like my bread and butter here, the vintage. But also the sneakers really come in handy because like, if you think about it, you match the shirt to the shoe. Right? Yeah. yeah. A hyper slime and sneaker. Yeah, we what's are. it feel like? Yeah. Feels real good. Feels good to go stand in line after we just stood in another line. Nice. Yeah. What, are you, what are you guys waiting for? What's the release over here? Do they have beer? Oh, do they have beer? I don't know. I'm asking. I don't, I don't think they do. No, I don't they, think they sell it. Yet. I think they got hot dogs and hamburgers. That's it. <laughs> Like 
I'm trying to tell like, him. I'm like, bro, you never see the Kodak Black video? Oh, you making it rain up here. These Arkansas boys acting up out here. Shout out to John, bro. Yes, sir. A7O, yes, baby. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Come on, bro. You can't be doing shit like this here, bro. We're here. They got a few. Got the extra laces here, bro. They got three layers in there. He just gave them to me. Put it in the stove? You got to put them on Day two, he didn't buy all my drinks out. Yeah, he only bought one. Were you selling drinks? Yeah. What you got? I only got this for right now. So, four, five, so my sophomore year in high school, which was about five years ago now, I got diagnosed with leukemia. The first thing I wanted to do was go to Vegas and go to his store in the old mall. I went over there and told him this story. Jay gave me uh, every, every t-shirt color they had in my size. And I just told him how much of an inspiration he is because when I was in the hospital, that's all I used to watch was shoe stuff. And that's what made me a sneaker right now. That's a birthday. Yeah. And I'm from Denver too. So, uh, you know the guys from Vices? They're all close, close. They're like family. they're good people. Yeah. No, we all of them. Yeah. But yeah, I appreciate you taking the picture with me. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Inspiring everything. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys headed to the pit? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Where are you from? Houston, H Town. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, watch this guy. Just a little info. How long have you been reselling? Yeah, two years. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Were you here yesterday? Yeah. How'd you do? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Is this your first sneaker con? No, my second one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck, guys. You want to just shout out your store real quick? Uh, I got red bag on Instagram. All right. Uh, appreciate you, bro. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. It's going pretty good. I've sold two so far and a lot of sneakers. Nice. Are you about to sell the shoes off your feet? Maybe, I will. All right, nice. What did you sell so far? Jubilees, reverse blues, and then some uh, supreme accessories. How good is the food? Because the line is long. Unbelievably um, terrible. <laughs> is it? I would give it like an 8.4. Wow. What would you say? How long did you have to wait? 35, 40 minutes. Man, longest line of sneaker con. Nah, Urban Necessities. Urban Necessities is, that's what's up. <laughs> that's beautiful. What was the most crazy sneaker you've seen here at uh, this event? Oh, that's okay, there's shoes in here that are not allowed to come out. So you know what I... No, excuse me, I'm interviewing. Excuse me. Excuse me, give me one second. I'm interviewing. Security, who is that? You know this guy? Yo, what's up, man? What's going on, man? What the fuck? Get out of here. 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 Get Okay, Lisa, I saw them on the I pay for that. The company's gonna pay for that. No, I'm, I'm texting with Bun. Bun's, Bun B's on his way. He's gonna hang out with us for a bit. It's an amazing show. Day two has definitely been a great success. I mean, look, literally hundreds of pairs behind us. A lot of good energy. You guys saw the behind the scenes of something that we think is gonna get a lot of attention on social media. And uh, it's, it's amazing, man. Like, you can't ask for anything better than this. Yeah. Uh, we can share. Yeah, we can share. Oh, what are you doing, man? What do you mean hungry, man? I'm going to eat that shit. Get out of here, man. I'm going to eat that shit, man. I was hungry. You just came for the gym, man. man. I'm sorry. Man, I was working hard. I earned it. I earned it. I earned it. No, why y'all always got to mess the best, man? Why y'all got to keep doing all this shit to buy my boot? There's all this. That's what I said. I, was just, I, was, I earned it. I earned that. Damn. 
Right. Sí, ben, bueno, since the coronavirus, you know how that shit going. We here with everybody. We have two legends in the same building, different worlds. We connected. We connected by kids. We connected by everybody here. Okay. I just want to ask you one simple question: How are you doing? How you been? How are you connected to the sneaker game? What does the sneaker game mean to you, Mr. Bombay? And then we will be. Look at my feet. See, I'm very serious about this game. Yes, I see. I, I love, but it's not just about the shoes, right? It's about the feet. Yeah. Right? When you walk into this place, you can look at a man's feet or a lady's feet, and you can already tell who they are, maybe where they're from, what, how they get down, how they move. We get to introduce ourselves without even speaking words. We walk around here, everybody don't even speak the same way. You know what I'm saying? But we all feel the same way about the same thing. Sneak is a great way to bond, a great way to unite, commune with each other, make new friends, make money. I agree. This is the only place I'm walking with my head down. I bump into people and they don't care because we are here doing the same thing. We look at everybody's shoe. Absolutely. Right? How do you connect? How do you feel about the sneaker gang? What's the passion that drives you to be here with everybody today? Uh, 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 you know, spend the time with everybody, look at everybody's shoe, see what everybody got here. How do you make? How that make you feel? Uh, I mean, I love it. For me, it started with basketball because I was a basketball player when I was a kid. And as a basketball player, you gotta have the coolest kicks. Oh, yeah. you, you saw the older dudes in your neighborhood that had the cool kicks on, and you wanted to be just like them. And that's how the love started for me. It was like those are the stories, those are the memories. I have those memories of being a kid watching my older cousin play ball with all his friends and wanting to be just like them. Their shorts, their shirts, their shoes, like all of that. The way they they did everything, like you wanted to be like them, and that's where my love started. Do you agree that sneak? is an expression is an extension of one pencil do you agree that the sneaker one pencil wear is the most important part of the outfit oh yeah well we always start from the ground up you know what i'm saying look this is my identity right this is how i introduce myself to people this is how i show people how i move how i get down how i'm connected with what i represent so i always start with the sneaker right because i don't give anybody put on camouflage or any shoe it don't matter right you put on neutral colors any shoe it don't matter you know what i'm saying but for people to really know how i move how I really get down, especially in a room like this, where everybody got everything, I got to come out with these. No, well, we got shoes to buy from Bun. Bun brought me some shoes just for sale. So, Aaron, if it's not too much to ask, if you can find out what his needs are, let's try to buy some shoes from Bun. Before that, he probably paid on a high school team, right? So how long did he play on a high school team? All right, so that, that takes it to about 17 years, right? So then, before high school, you think he played Pop Warner? How old do you think he was when he probably started playing? Seven. Seven. So 21 years. So a man has played football pretty much for half of his life. Right? How long was it before some you think it was before someone said he's pretty good? You think that happened on the first day? You think it happened on the second day? You think it happened year one? Year five? Probably year five. That'd be impressive if he did it in year five. My point. My man has been playing football for half of his life, 20 years. When did you start liking him? When did you start? When did you start liking him? When he was in college, or when he, when he was when he got to the league? So, out of the 21 years that he played football, that were guesstimated, you didn't start liking him or paying attention to him till he put in 11 years of work, right? So before the football. How many days do you think he practiced? How many hours do you think he was in the gym throughout the course of his life? Damn near every day. But it took you damn near 10 years of his career before you even recognized who that man was. And you're sitting here asking me, how do I get to this point? How do you get people to pay attention to what I'm doing? And my point is, is if it took you 10 years to recognize greatness or someone that's going about it the great way, and you think that you're capable of doing that with sneakers, then you got a lot of work to do, right? Because if we're looking at Troy Palomaro as an example, it took him 10 years. Now, not trying to throw myself in the mix, but you asked me a question, and how did I get to be to this point, right? Well, I've been selling shoes for eight years, and every single day I wear them, from the second I open my eyes to the second I close them. And when I try to close them, I'm still thinking about work, about how to make it faster, how to make it better, how to make it nicer, how to be more efficient. And people ain't really giving me my shine or acknowledging what I'm doing. So, hey, when did Monster start paying attention to me? Yesterday? Yesterday. And I love Monster. I, 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 like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how long what did it take for this many people to want to stand in front of my booth or sell me this many shoes? Eight years of nonstop run. You got to start, and you got a massive jump start up. 
I wish you the best. That's the type of free game that all these fucking people need to be giving you when you come to this. And if they're not giving you that, you shouldn't be paying attention to what they do. I'm done talking about shit. I've seen this man growing away, like really come out of the show. Like now he's out here, like he kind of like me, trying to help the youth and motivate and inspire. But what he does is, I'll go by like an example. I bought a little hard style. Yeah. So little by little, I think they're stripping it away. That is crazy. This shit was fine, right along. <laughs> all the zippers, I told them to take the zippers. Yeah, everything, all of this is so good. Consignment update. Um, took in another about 100 pair of shoes right here. Still got people trying to beat the deadline, trying to beat the raffle line. There's a lot of work to do. We're still taking this home. Still need more. All right, still need more. God damn! This is wild. Yo, that's yo. They said it's three layers. That peel off. It, I, you can tell. This is crazy. How much does he want, though? I don't know. Your name is Price for this shit. Yeah, I don't know. Like right now. Yeah. One's the Habibi, one's the Chunky, and one's the Sting Water. These still have like crazy value if I ever wanted to sell them. You can't though, man. Not that one. What's a gift? So I don't sell gifts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right? I don't sell, like, when I get seated and, like, people give me shit, I don't, I would never sell that. So, well, here's the part of the video where I get to say, I bought some shoes from Vaughn. Thank you, Vaughn. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm always talking about credit, 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 and that there was this kid at SneakerCon that told me about credit and um, it literally changed the entire way I conduct business. This guy. And the last time I saw you at a sneaker con, you were wearing Rolexes and gold chains and all that other stuff. And you're out here buying Teslas and all that. But how old are you? 15. 15. And he told me about credit two years ago at sneaker con. LA. LA. But where do you live? Florida. Florida. How much did you do in sales last year? If you had to take a guess. 1.4 no. million. dollars in sales at how old? 15. Well, 14. 14. Then. What did you just ask me to go to? My new event. Your new event. It's my third event, actually. Your third event. So you're now hosting conventions. Yes, if that doesn't motivate you and inspire you to get off your ass, and start finding creative ways to generate a dollar, nothing will. All right, guys, so first off, I want to say thank you on behalf of all the sponsors, vendors that are here, and to the SneakerCon family. You guys made this an amazing show. Without you guys, none of this is possible. We greatly appreciate the support and the patience that you guys have shown over the last year and a half, since the last time we were able to go on the road and kind of hang out with you guys. Dallas is always one when I pull up. Even though I can't stand the Cowboys, you guys treat me like family. And we don't talk sports, but you guys make this show truly amazing and really hard for me to want to leave every time I come. Someone from the earth decides to be smooth, bring me the raffle tickets, please. Alright, so this is the first peacock that we're giving away. And this is the first.
ticket. You guys all want this place all right, so I'm probably gonna get a ticket. Raise your hand. Alright, so the first number is six. Keep your hands up if you're taking it still, if we're still on the time crunch. Seven. Six. Four. Oh, we lost a couple of hands. Seven. We lost a few more right there. Five. So you're saying there's still a chance. Nine. Oh, I'm doing the whole lot! Alright, so no lying on us. Whoa, whoa! Shut up, you got it. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna give it away. Because you're part of the uh, urban <laughs> so, like, If you win, like, if I let you win, everybody here is gonna be mad because you're like, this is the guy who's doing the tattoo. Oh. No, no, since you got but I'm still so giving you something no, since no, you won, but we're gonna give you shit away. Okay, so let's do this again. Shout out to Orlando for donating his way. Thanks for the fun of Orlando from Skating Sign Tattoos, who's one of the artists that's gonna be working at Urban Necessity. He just donated a thousand dollars to you. Alright, so let's try this again. Okay, so six, seven, six, four. Six. Six, five, three. Somebody. Somebody. Nobody. Oh, I see somebody raising their hand. He says we're friends. I said it, eh? I just told my boy I said I'm about to win this. Oh, you called this. Yep. All right, both of you have this nice Yep, it's right there. So, what size would you like? He's a winner, the first winner. Oh! Yeah. Seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. Huh? You're 13. <laughs> oh, you're 13, so we're going to be putting seven if you got seven. Yeah. Let's start competing at 100. Who got 100? Raise your hands. Right here. Right here. We got 200. Keep your hands up if one makes one for the shoe. 300. Keep your hands up if you're trying to make your money. 400, 500, and your daughter's 600, 700, it's not 700. I bought mine for 800, early. I love you, Jay. Oh, man. I love you, Jay. Okay, so we're gonna there's one hand here. You have a guy here. Are you just, you're, you're going to go in? Or you're going to go in? So, nine hundred. 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 Six, seven, six, four. I'm gonna ask you that. Six, eight, seven. Six, eight, seven. I'm gonna have to walk up to the next one. Six, eight, seven. Six, eight, seven. Right, six, eight, seven. You got it. So, what size is it? What size? I'm a ten and a half. So do you want to sell one real quick? What size do you have left? Seven, seven and a half. Eight and a half. He took the eight, right? You're taking the eight. Yeah, eight and the eight and a half. I'll just take the eight and a half. I don't want to sell it. You don't want to sell it? Not even for nine hundred. No. Nope. Wow. I'm, I'm old enough. You're old enough. Yep. Fair. So what did you buy? Well, what, you bought ten dollars. You bought. You spent how ten dollars. You spent ten dollars. So I'm a thousand dollars short. Nine hundred dollars. That's a come up. Let's get a round of applause for the young man. That's okay. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully you hold them to the point where it, it pays for something real nice. For I got them for $10. Yeah, you got them for can't think. Guys, I just want to say thank you once again on behalf of SneakCon, Monster, and all the other sponsors that were here. Thank you for your time. Have a blessed night. Let's do this again next year. Appreciate you guys. Nice, yeah, dude. Uh, Tell everybody good thanks good for watching good the vlog. So guys, Dallas Sneaker Con has come to a wrap. 
and my ama amazing assistants and staff, Andrew, Paul, and Concern behind the camera, have helped me acquire 350 pairs yesterday. And as soon as they're done counting, I'll give you a number for these. Shout out to all our winners. Thank you to Monster for making me look cool. Amazing job by SneakerCon hosting a venue that had over 15,000 people in the course of two days with 500 vendors. This was, this was an experience and a show that was extremely needed for the sneaker community, extremely needed for all these vendors. Millions of dollars exchanged hands over this weekend. We bought some of the shoes that are in our top, not only 50, not only 100, but our top like one through five. These shoes are going to definitely jump up in price. And uh, if I'm buying this many of them, you need to be buying them because market is about to go to the moon. When I drop this video is more than likely when my store is open. And I want to say this, man, um, this store is something that you made possible. This store is something that my wife and I and my team have only dreamed about since we started this brand, since we started selling sneakers. We thought it was impossible and you guys made it possible. All of your support, all of you guys, you know, spreading the word, talking about us in negative and positive light, sharing, reposting, buying, liking, commenting. You made it possible and uh, you changed my life. And I can't wait to share this store with you guys and sell some of these shoes we picked up here today to you through that store. So pull up on me. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Audio Jungle. picked up 586 pairs so 586 plus 350 is 936 pairs not our worst not our best but definitely caused some noise made some damage spent some dollars like literally bro like I'm going home with nothing and now I have to hurry up and get back and drive we're putting this on pallets boxes trucks driving and I have to hurry up and sell some fucking shoes because uh, I got some bills to pay for later like we paid for a wedding through sneakers bro like we paid for a wedding through sneakers bro that's crazy We're gonna do this to 250, 15. So we got 235 more singles to go. 16, 16. So here's here's the thing. I have a couple of dollars. So you're gonna give yourself 21. 21. All right. So you're 22. So you need to give yourself enough eight for 30. 238 dollars out of this to each other, right? The reason why I'm giving them 250 bucks a piece is because I said, yo, whoever was able to get me the most pairs I got $500 for you and when I asked the question hey who did the most pairs they said it was even boss so split it actually yeah pull you know what take 500 singles and I'll give you 505 and I'll give you guys both 500 bucks nice there it is all right we know where we're going <laughs> <laughs> City to have all these singles so you may be able to go somewhere where you could say I'm in the right city let me see a pinball machine exactly <laughs> <laughs>